Well, the postman's been, and I'm fairly certain that I know where it is, it being the thing I ordered. Let's have a look. Comedy glasses. I'm um, 56 and my eyesight's failing um, especially. Well, I'm pretty good. I don't um, wear reading glasses. Um, but for close work with my electronics projects, I'm struggling to see things. And I'm working on a couple of solutions, but this is one of them. I bought this on eBay. Obviously, it's um, a huge fashion statement. But more importantly, it's um, an eye assistant. So let's get the stuff out and see what's what. So there you go, they are pretty gorgeous aren't they? Gucci. You get the idea, um, lenses are here. There is, um, uh, can you see that? Yeah. Uh, illumination on the sides which might be really helpful. It's got the 25 magnification lenses fitted but there are also 10, um, 20 and 15 lenses available. Um, I guess that is a headband. Yes, the headband attaches, I guess. Oh, they go, it goes in here um, instead. So you take these sidebars out and you put this in here and then it holds them on your head. So interesting. Um, I'll find out how useful they are. Well, the 25X um, lenses are fitted by default, and two things are immediately um, apparent. The first is um, you can't look through both lenses and see an image. Um, the magnification is such that all you get is confusion. And the second thing is that I, I tried to look at this paper knife, or knife anyway, and I had to hold the knife actually touching the lens to see a magnified image. And it was a good magnified image, um, but that's something to bear in mind. You don't get um, two eyes to see at the same time and this lens has got to be close up. So let's have a look at the other lenses and see what they're like. Mm-hmm. Okay. So let's have a look at... These are the 15X. And just push and twist like that. Let's have a go. The 15Xs are better in the sense that you can, I now see a central circular um, image, um, and you can now hold an object about that far away. But it's, um, and it's a fairly good quality image, but it's not um, a, a, bif a bifocal image. It's not a um, not a one image formed by two eyes, so it's still a one eye deal. Let's go for the next lens. Okay, well, as we've gone up in magnification again, um, not quite to the 25, but to the 20s, we're back with a problem that the object has to be really close before you can see it. And a side effect of that is that the object itself blocks out very much of the light, so your light short, so you, that's where this thing comes in, and it really, really does help. You get very... Um, very good illumination. Can you see that there? And you can angle that in, and that's probably where you want it because uh, the business end is going on there. So I can see a use for these, um, but it's not what I thought it would be. Hmm, and that's the 10x lenses. So what are we saying? Um, the idea that I'd get um, a stereo field of vision uh, with depth perception in. Um, High magnification is gone. You don't get that with these. Um, the distance between the eyes is only adjustable, if at all, marginally. I don't know if I can actually slide these along. No, they won't slide along. So if your eyes happen to be um, a different distance apart, you either have to take a hammer to your skull um, or accept the fact that you're not going to get um, good binocular vision here. Um, the lenses seem fairly good quality. You can get a very close-up magnified view and the lights are really not just helpful but pretty much essential given how closely you have to put the object to the lens. Um, they do swing up out of the way. I think what I'll be doing is using this this pair of glasses 
monocularly, I'll, uh, monocularly. I'll probably take uh, this one off and destroy it. Oh, the other thing is, my eyes, like almost everyone's eyes, are slightly different. Um, but there's no facility to vary the focus between the two eyes. There's no focusing capability at all. But what you can do is um, skew the object like this to get both halves of it in focus. But since you're not getting stereo vision anyway, um, you may as well forget that. So I think for um, a conveniently worn monocular magnifying glass that you don't have to hold that can give very high well 25x magnification close up um, it's workable but don't think that you're going to be getting binocular vision high magnification stereoscopic depth perceived vision with these glasses because um, that's not available anyway I'm still glad I bought them I will use them probably for things like inspecting um, lathe and milling machine tools for small damage that's something I really struggle with um, and I may even actually put one of these um, on a, another frame and take it to my workshop which is a distance from here and have the other one on this frames here so effectively I've got two pairs of monocular magnifying spectacles um, so I'm pleased reasonably pleased with them um, but I uh, hope that review has been useful for you anyway thanks for watching before I go, I thought I'd try and give you a view of what I can see through the um, the lenses. This is the 20x lens, so this is what you can see normally, although of course this phone is adding its own um, modification to the naked view. And here is the here's what you can see through the lens. It's difficult for me to judge what's in focus or not, but I hope it will be useful anyway. Let's see spin this around so we're not yeah. you can see uh, how critical the light is to it being of any use at all hmm well um, I guess my comments stand from before. I may not even use this video. I'll have a look at it at, um, on the big screen first.